Hey, good morning, church. I pray all is well with you and your family today. I uh, get the privilege of talking about 2 Samuel chapter 23. It's an interesting chapter, and it's one that uh, most of the time we'd probably just kind of skip right through. Um, it starts off with some more of the poetry uh, from David. It says that uh, it's his last words. It's really the last words of kind of poetry uh, that you'll see because you'll David does speak later on, so it's talking about his poetry. Um, and that's the first uh, seven verses. And then from verse number eight through the rest of the chapter, you really have a list of names uh, and accomplishments of, of warriors that had fought with David and for David. And um, this group of uh, mighty men uh, that battled along with him, listing um, you know, how many men they'd killed, what they had done that was significant. Uh, it's almost like a, a pause in time to kind of appreciate people that had uh, been with David and, and fought with David and been in the battles with David. David was taking time to, it's, uh, to appreciate uh, people who had been in these fights and recognize them. It certainly made me think about each one of us have people in our own lives that uh, walk through life with us. They go through battles with us. Uh, they are there with us. And I got to thinking about all the people in the Bible that uh, had someone in their life that uh, joined them in the battle. For instance, uh, Paul had Barnabas that brought him uh, into the disciples. Uh, Timothy uh, certainly had Paul. Uh, Peter had John uh, to walk through the battles with him. Uh, Aquila had Priscilla. Uh, Moses had Aaron. Joshua had Moses. And if you start thinking about how many uh, of these people that um, endured or went through battles of life and hardships, uh, all of them having people that walked along beside them, it might be good for us to think of who that is in your life who has uh, walked through some of these trials or battles in your life with you. Maybe take a time uh, today uh, or this weekend just to send them a note or a card or a text and just tell them thank you for being there as they go through the battles of life with you uh, and appreciate them for what they've done. Uh, anyway, I, I pray that you enjoy uh, Second Samuel chapter 23. Uh, may God bless. Look forward to seeing everyone Sunday morning, and you have a great day.